Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Experts say that global warming will force refugees to move to Antarctica by the year 2030. We've only got eight years to pack up and move. And this was confirmed by the UK government's chief scientist, Professor Sir David King. He said that due to global warming, Antarctica will soon be the only place to live on the entire planet. But make sure and pack some warm clothes, because Antarctica just had their coldest six months on record. And CNN says the record cold was due to global warming. Staying on the wintry, or at least the cold theme, you wrote a piece on CNN.com this week about record cold temperatures in, in, in Antarctica, which I think we should all celebrate, right, for the sake of the marine life, animal life there. They need this frigid stuff. And it's also kind of hard to, co I mean, to really think about, too. The, this is the coldest place on Earth, so to imagine that it's even colder than we know it to be. But yes, yeah. when we're talking about the period from April through September, that's mm -hmm. that six-month period, ended up being the coldest on record. That period is often referred to as the polar darkness or the polar night because that's also coincides with when they don't really have any sunlight there. Mm -hmm. Incredibly cold temperatures. But the interesting thing, Fred, is this was the only place that really was was cold. Yeah. When you look globally, just about yeah. everywhere else was above average temperatures. So this mm -hmm. really was one of the few places that was dealing with an extreme. It's just interesting because it's already the coldest place on Earth getting even colder. Yeah. Do we know why? why the bottom like that would stay cold and everything else right. would so just the, simply be yeah, hot. The polar vortex played a big role in this mm -hmm. particular event just for that specific area. But I will point out that in February of last year, they actually had their hottest temperature on record in Antarctica. So you're getting a little bit of both thanks to climate change. Hopefully a little self-correction. Oh, Allison Chinchar, thank you so much. Thanks. These top CNN scientists say that the extreme cold was due to global warming and that it's really good for the wildlife which lives there. Emperor penguins struggle to survive the Antarctic cold every winter. The male penguins are incubating the eggs during the winter. They can't sleep and they have to keep the eggs warm all the time. A lot of them freeze to death every winter and having record cold has to be difficult. Western Canada is having record cold right now, and fossil fuels are keeping lots of people alive. They must be comforted to know that they can give up their fossil fuels, move to Antarctica, and live off of wind and solar power. Who wouldn't trust the judgment of these brilliant scientists at CNN? Toto loves the snow, but he thinks that Wyoming is cold enough, and he doesn't have any plans to move to the South Pole. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.